everyone, I'm Sharon from Sharon at Sea, and if you love water sports, you love the Caribbean, you love adventurous activities, or just hanging out on the beach, Belize is a place you are definitely going to want to visit at least once, and probably after you've gone there, you're going to want to go back. So I'm going to share with you a few options of things to do if you visit Belize, and also some of our favorite things to do when we're in Belize. All right, we are gonna start with one of the most popular things to do in Belize, and that is cave tubing. Everyone talks about cave tubing when they go to Belize. So there are many different places to cave tube, different excursion companies to go through. Uh, I'm gonna give you a particular option that we feel is a great option to cave tube, and that is if you go through um, Caves Branch Adventure Company. They are an awesome company, and they will take you to uh, Belize's longest and most popular river of caves, cave tubing float and it is over seven miles underground. You will float past all kinds of underground waterfalls, the a crystal cathedral and a spiritual center of the ancient Maya. And there's just, it, it's just gorgeous. I mean, you cannot go wrong with this excursion. It, it was one of the, it's just one of the longest cave tubing adventures there. Um, they also offer a zip lining tour with it if you wanna combine the two and zip lining is another fun thing to do in Belize. So if you're looking to do something a little adventurous in Belize, check out Caves Branch Adventure Company. They will take you on an awesome cave tubing adventure. All right, next I'm gonna talk about a couple places you can tender into the port and then take a water taxi to. If you are into snorkeling or diving, both of these places are great options to head over to. The first one I'm gonna talk about is Kay Cocker. It is a little island off the coast um, of Belize there. It is divided by a narrow channel called the Split. The north of the island is kind of like a mangrove forest area. Um, the south side, kind of a village area. The water is amazing. There is a place called Sip and Dip, which is a kind of a little beach bar over there at the north end. There's a place called the Lazy, Lazy Lizard. And there is also a pizza place. So this is a really, um, budget-friendly option to do, you know, just take a water taxi, head over there, spend the day. When you're done, take the water taxi back and back to the ship. So there you go. This is a great option for you water lovers. All right, now I'm going to talk about another great option. Once again, take a water taxi over to Goffs K. Goffs K is a small little island off the shore of Belize City, and it's just right on the barrier reef there. The waters are fairly shallow. They're really blue and just, it, it's just amazing water for snorkeling or diving. It's about a 20 minute boat ride, you know, from the port. So there's um, some options for food over there. There's some barbecue. Um, they used to have a lo lobster they would sell for like $10. You could get like two lobster tails. I'm not sure if they still have that over there, but if they do, that is a great um, thing to take advantage of. So I highly suggest you go over there and just check it out. I mean, it's like paradise. All right. And while we're talking about little islands and things to go visit from Belize, I'm going to throw in one more. And this is something you can only do really if you're going on a ship excursion through Carnival Cruise Lines, Carnival Corporation per se, um, Princess Cruise Lines, Holland America go there as well because they're owned by Carnival. Um, but it is called Starfish Island. We went here when Matthew, our son, was a little bit younger and we had an amazing day there. It's a great option for families. And one reason that it's a great option is you don't have to put the little kiddos on a tender, drive, go all the way into port, catch a water taxi over there. They will, if you book it through the cruise line, well, which is the only way you can do it, um, but they will pick you up right there at the ship, take you over to the little island, and then when you're finished, they bring you right back to the ship. So that's really nice if you have little ones. You don't have to hassle the whole long tender in and two boat rides. So it's it's really beautiful there. The water is beautiful. There is great snorkeling there. They have most of the, the excursions usually offer lunch and I, they used to offer a free drink with them. Well, not free, but a drink with it. I don't know if they still offer that as part of the package, but they do have lunch. There's a small little gift shop over there. There's restroom facilities. Um, and it's just, it's a great place. There's lounge chairs. The parents can hang out. The kids can play in the water. There is another little area off to one side where there's um, starfish. So the kids can go over and check out the starfish. That's really fun. I know our son really loved doing that. Um, also, they have kayaks there. It's just, it's a great family day there. So I would highly suggest if you're going on a ship that is owned by Carnival that you book this excursion. All right, now while we're on the subject of kid-friendly activities or family-friendly activities, you might say, um, how about check out the Belize Zoo? 
This is a really cool place to visit. Um, they have a lot of unique kind of animal species of animals that are just unique to Belize. They take in orphaned and hurt animals that are unable sur to survive in the wild. So it's really cool to, to see this. They also rehabilitate animals as well and then they let them go back out in the wild if they can survive once they're rehabilitated. <laughs> so this is just a really cool place to visit. It's just an inexpensive fun day with the family. So check out the Belize Zoo. All right, and lastly, we are gonna talk about a really cool kind of a natural attraction in Belize, and that is the Rio Frio Caves. And this is located in the Mountain Pine Ridge Forest Reserve. And this is just an awesome place to go. There's amazing views there. You can walk up, there's a huge um, entryway, like 70 feet tall. It is just awesome. There's all kinds of stalactites inside hanging. They look like little chandeliers all over all kinds of colorful boulders, and this is a great place for our videos and pictures. I mean, you'll get some awesome things. Um, Rio Frio stands for Cold Water River. There's a lot of waterfalls in there, all kinds of little cascading waterfalls, and just a lot of, it's just beautiful. I can't say enough about it. It's, it's something I would really recommend you do, if as long as you can, you don't have any mobility issues where you can get around. Um, this is really um, something that's a lot of fun. So there you go. Those are all of my options for things to do in Belize. So even if you don't want to book an excursion, at least get off the ship, take the water shuttle or tender, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> over to Belize and to the port and just check it out a little bit. You know, do a little shopping, buy a local souvenir there. Uh, maybe go to, go to the little local bars there, have a drink, or head over to the end where they have the big Belize, colorful Belize sign everyone wants to have their picture taken with. Go get your picture taken. Um, and just take a few pictures around there for memories and then head back to the ship. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed uh, my tips on Belize. If you enjoy these type of videos, um, cruise tips, cruise vlogs, um, cruise reviews, cruise news, all those things, anything cruising, um, please consider subscribing to our channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on when we post any new content. We also go live every Monday night and we love having new subscribers join in, ask questions, help us answer other people's questions, and just hang out and have a good time talking all about cruising. Hope you have a wonderful time next time you visit Belize. And until next time, happy cruising.